Sarah Tucker was born in Halifax, Virginia. Living in poverty as one of nine children with her widowed mother, her childhood family experience sharecropping on a farm might have awakened her later in life passion to do all she could to thwart what she described as a racist class system. She had a greater calling for something else in life. Everybody that ever had an issue, you know, they would say, well, can you call your mother? Forming a group called Citizens for a Better America, Tucker worked on voter registration. She also served on a number of regional and national leadership grassroots organizations, including the NAACP and the National Toxics Campaign. She often got threats, threatened mail, threatened phone calls, you know, personal threats. None of the threats ever swayed her and her determination. But I know that the steps that she made uh, made it easier for people in my generation. Tucker fought a number of attempts to mine uranium and dump nuclear waste in Halifax. There's some issues about the uranium mine and people still want to do it. Um, some people say it's safer now, some people still, you know, on the fence about it, but it's, it's still an issue. Um, you can see sometimes throughout, if you're in this area, there's some um, signs against uranium mining and, you know, it's still on the surface here in Southside. And, you know, she, if she believed in the cause, and she believed in it, then she believed in it to the end, and she would stick by you, I mean, no matter what personal cost it cost her, she would stick by you. She just had a heightened sense of awareness about herself and she knew that her um, mission was from God. During her activist years, Cora Tucker still found time to be a mom and raise a house full of children in a home that still belongs to the family. This was the neighborhood house and the neighborhood field, so everybody came here, we played softball, we played basketball, um, we had impromptu cookouts because everybody was here and Nobody would leave here hungry. She would make sure that, you know, and all the parents knew that if their child was here, they'd be safe. You know, she didn't let anybody get away with anything, no matter whose child, no matter what color, no matter what. You came here, you followed her rules, and everybody knew it. Awards, plaques, and a street sign outside of the house leave some visual reminders of Cora's value to the Halifax community. But her granddaughter represents the most significant tribute of all her desire to continue the legacy. People I, I call me Little Cora, and I can't feel her shoes, but my sense of awareness has been enlightened, and I do want to continue on her legacy. I don't want her memory to fade away from, you know, anyone here in Halifax or anyone that was ever touched by her and throughout her life. And just to make my mark somehow, or to just extend on what my grandmother did, and just show love to one another, you know, and just be at peace with one another is just something that I would like to do. Cora Tucker, one of Earth's caretakers.